Hi, pal. I'm so happy to see you. I was hoping that you would be on our tour today. Thank you for letting us You're steal welcome. you away backstage. Yeah, sure. It's been roughly eight years since I first met Will at Emerald City Comic Con. I'd been a fan since childhood and remain one now. But I've never seen him like this before. I know what you're thinking. I know. And hey, this is a little weird for me, too. Rent a Pal is set in 1990, long before online dating was a thing. Videotapes are used for matchmaking. Hi, I'm David. I'm 40 years young. I also do love that you guys are now exposing an entire generation to what the tracking knob was on a VCR. It always cracks me up when I see a Zoomer uh, post a photo on TikTok or on, on Instagram and they're using like a video glitch filter and I'm like, you have no idea what a video glitch is. Hi, I'm Andy. Thanks for being here today. Will plays Andy, a pal on tape designed to make viewers feel less lonely. But over time, David becomes convinced they really are friends and Andy becomes decidedly spooky. I don't think a cheerful sweater vest has ever been quite so menacing. It's, um, the dichotomy is, is so powerful and it helps make him that much more terrifying. A lot of folks I've talked to have described him as like a, a demented Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Will did his acting alone in a small studio with just one camera. We shot it all in one day. I did my very best to make a deep, meaningful, actual connection to the person behind on the other side of the camera. I also feel like you might have gained some skills playing that role for what we're doing right now and what we've been doing over Zoom for the past few months. It's interesting that we're coming out at this moment right now where so many people really are kind of alone and people are socially isolated. We're all kind of trapped in the house right now. In the movie, that isolation drives David to madness. In real life, Will speaks regularly about mental health. He's candid about his own struggles and is a fierce advocate for others. What have you sort of learned over the past few months that you think is important to impart on people? We're living through a trauma right now. We have to give ourselves permission to have bad days. And a thing that we all, those of, those of you who do not have mental illness and those of us who do, here's a thing that we always have to remember. It's not forever. We will get through this. Until then, Will is happy to offer some escapism in the form of Rent-A-Pal. That's why I'm here for you, pal. 